I'm Robin Grant with the National Consumer Voice for Quality Long-Term Care. We advocate with and on behalf of nursing home residents. So we know that conducting a visit with a member of Congress or more likely a staff person can feel intimidating if you've never done it before. That's why we've created this video to give you some guidance and tips. We're focusing on staffing and nursing home transparency and accountability in this video, but the steps we described can be applied to any issue. So fast forward a bit. You've contacted your senator's or representative's office, scheduled a visit with a staff person, and now you're either connected by Zoom or you're sitting in their office. Bravo! Just by doing that, you've taken a really important advocacy step that you should be very proud of. Before you begin your visit, there are a few points to keep in mind. First, don't forget that it's your federal legislator's job to listen to their constituents. That's why they're in office. You're not making a special request. You're not bothering them. They work for you. Second, don't be intimidated. You're not expected to be a policy expert. You're there because you care about the issue. You're bringing your own firsthand experiences to this topic, which makes you a personal expert. And third, think in advance about what questions you might be asked and how you'd respond. But you don't have to know everything. If you're asked a question, you can admit that you're not sure, and you can offer to get back to them later with the answer. Now let's talk about what you say during this visit. To start off, thank the staff person and introduce yourself. Let them know who you are and why you're there. For example, if the staff person's name is Frank, you might say, I want to thank you so much, Frank, for taking the time to meet with me today. As you know, I'm Robin Grant, and I'm one of Representative Clark's constituents. I'm also the daughter of a nursing home resident, my mother, who's in one of the nursing homes in the Representative's District. I'm here today because I'm extremely concerned that there aren't enough staff to care for her, and she's declining and suffering. Then make your ask. The ask is the precise action you want the senator or representative to take. The ask might go something like this. To make sure my mother and other residents get the care they need and deserve, I'm asking that Representative Clark support the implementation of minimum staffing standards and hold nursing homes accountable for the care they provide and money they receive. Next, you wanna make this issue personal. You may have a story of how staffing levels impacted someone you love, or if you're a resident, how they impact you directly. If you're an ombudsman or a volunteer who visits nursing homes, you may have observations about what you've seen or what residents have told you. There are lots of ways to make this issue personal, and chances are you already have a story that makes you uniquely positioned to speak about it. After sharing an example based on personal experience, you should share some factual information. In this particular case, we prepared talking points that you can use that can be found on our website. Finally, repeat your ask and thank the staff person again. And that's it. That's all there is to the meeting. Visiting your member of Congress is one of the most meaningful action steps you can take. Legislators rarely hear from their constituents, so your voice carries a lot of weight. Know that one person can make a difference and that you can be that person.